Adjuvants are substances commonly added to vaccines to induce a stronger immune response to a standard amount of antigen. The MF59 adjuvant is an oil and water emulsion adjuvant used in influenza vaccines. It is composed of squalene, which naturally occurs in humans, and the surfactants tween 80 and span 85, which stabilize the emulsion. After intramuscular injection, the MF59 adjuvant enhances the vaccine antigen response by activating immune cells, such as monocytes, macrophages, and dendritic cells, which release chemokines to attract even more immune cells. The MF59 adjuvant increases and accelerates differentiation of monocytes into dendritic cells, which increases antigen uptake and results in a more efficient transport of antigen to the lymph nodes. There, the increased antigen presentation stimulates T cells to activate and proliferate. B cells expand and produce a more diverse repertoire of neutralizing antibodies compared to standard non-MF59 adjuvanted influenza vaccines. Subsets of these T and B cells ultimately become memory cells to provide persistent immune protection for the vaccine-specific antigen. The addition of the MF59 adjuvant improves the magnitude and breadth of the immune response. The influenza virus has surface antigenic proteins, hemagglutinin, H, and neuraminidase, Na, that evolve constantly, necessitating the yearly reformulation of influenza vaccines. Due to these frequent mutations, often referred to as antigenic drift, circulating strains may evolve to be antigenically different from vaccine strains. In addition to antigenic mismatch that occurs in nature, traditional egg-based manufacturing does have some limitations, such as the potential for antigenic mismatch during the reassortment process. One way of addressing this limitation is through cell culture technology. The use of cell-derived CVV eliminates the reassortment process that occurs in eggs, which may cause antigenic mismatch. As a result, cell-derived CVV may result in a closer antigenic match with circulating viruses. In addition to seasonal, cell culture technology has been used in previous pandemic response efforts.